When you have a viewer come to check out your channel for the first time, first impressions are key to seeing whether you are a channel worth subscribing to. If your cover photo is blank or has a picture of you just smiling on it, what is that actually telling your audience? In today's video, I'm gonna show you what you should actually include in your YouTube channel art to turn your channel into the best subscribable channel ever. Hey Big Shots, my name is Daniel Ford and I help motivated entrepreneurs master the strategies of YouTube for their business so they can get fresh leads and profits. So if you're tired and frustrated of posting videos online that get you no results, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay notified every time I post a new video. Okay, so your first step to make the best YouTube channel art is understanding your priorities. So here's a list that will help your channel become the subscribable channel that it is. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a logo or the name of your channel on the top of your cover photo. Having your logo or the name of your brand on your channel will help your audience see that you are a legit channel. Let me elaborate on this a little more. Imagine if Walmart or McDonald's didn't actually have the name of the store out front. It was just a blank box store or didn't even have a logo at all. What would be your first thoughts if you went to that place? You'd probably be a little confused. If the name of the store out front or the logo is there, it establishes it as a legit establishment. Same thing can be said for your YouTube channel. If someone comes to your YouTube channel, they can see that you're actually a legit establishment, just like McDonald's or Walmart, by actually having the name of the store on the front of the building. So keep this in mind. If someone comes to your YouTube channel, you need to actually have the title of your channel in your cover photo somewhere or your logo so that way people can see that you are a legit YouTube channel. Another tip is how many videos a week are you going to publish? Telling your audience how often you actually publish videos will help them know when to watch your videos on your channel. Think of it like watching Shark Tank on TV. Imagine if they never told you when the next time they would be on television. I'm sure you wouldn't be tuning in every time only because you didn't know when it would actually be on TV again. So help your audience out a little and give them a TV guide. Okay another tip is the quality picture. If you're representing a brand, you need to have a quality picture, especially of yourself if you're a personal brand. If possible, make sure it's a picture that can be seen across all of your social platforms for brand consistency. So first off, if you struggle with making YouTube channel art actually look good, you can save yourself a ton of time and money by going to Fiverr.com. You can spend anywhere from $5 to $20 on a professional looking channel art. Also, if you're looking to save some money and want to make your own, you can use free programs like Canva or PicMonkey. Just make sure it actually looks good. Now, if you're actually looking to to cut out a picture of yourself and put it on your channel art. I'm gonna link a video right here and in the description down below that teaches you how to do that with a free program. So be sure to check that video out and then come back to this video. Brand colors and font. So make sure you're using consistent colors and fonts on your cover photo. If you're using some branded colors and font, then it's not going to look professional. Okay, so now let's actually talk about some other useful things that you might wanna include in your YouTube banner, but it's not super required. Social links and website. Now you can include this on your cover photo so your audience knows where to find your website at, or you can just add them as a link by putting them in the bottom right corner right here. So if you want a video that teaches you actually how to add your social links specifically, then I'll link a video right here and down here in the description that teaches you that step-by-step -step process to do that. Like this video down below if you already have your website and social links added on your cover photo. Good job. So what's your content about? State the content you are going to talk about in your video. It's no use just having the name of your channel on your cover photo if your audience doesn't know the topics you are going to talk about. Another thing to keep in mind is the value you provide. Now this one is similar to the one I just mentioned, but instead of talking about what you're talking about on your channel, why not instead state what your overall value you are trying to provide to those that actually visit your channel. For example, here on my channel, my goal is to help motivated entrepreneurs master the strategies of YouTube for their business so that they can get fresh leads and profits. Trust symbols. So this is perfect if you've been featured in some news source or people you've worked with before. If people see your authority, immediately they'll begin to see that you have worked with big clients that actually trust you. Some examples could be major news organizations like Forbes. So big shots, comment down below which of these do you think is the most important for your YouTube channel art? And be sure to check out the whole series on optimizing your YouTube channel to make sure that you have a highly subscribable channel. I'll link it right here and in the description down below. Thanks for watching big shots and I'll see you guys next time.